No, tell me about the time though, because you were you were like a fisherman, right, for a little mm. bit. Was this in Seattle? Dude, I was insane, man. Night eighteen, nineteen years Seattle? old. I was out of my goddamn gourd. Yeah, dude, I fucking jumped on a Greyhound bus and did five five days up across. Oh my god, bro! I, I was I I was engaged and acting a fool, like really, really, really down bad. Like, uh, you seen hustle and flow? Of course. That was my life, man. That was that that if you if you could like that's the easiest way to describe to somebody the kind of environment that I was in, you know, down to the box Chevy. Not gonna go into details for, about things that were going down, but I would just say that it was fucking it was going down. So I jumped I jumped on the I jumped on the Greyhound bus with the thought of getting twenty grand in the season. Ah, somebody somebody like in Anniston, Alabama, was like, "Yo, man." You can get twenty thousand dollars in one month. I was like twenty thousand dollars. I'm in out. one month for what? For fishing? Fuck that shit. I'm going to Seattle. Let's see what's up with this shit. So I, I scratched up a little bit of change. Got on a Greyhound bus. Right. Had my cousin take me to a Greyhound bus at like midnight in Dothan. There were two buses, and they both said Washington. Kev, you can't make this shit up. One was DC. <laughs> yeah, that's the bus one I got. The yeah, <laughs> the bus I got on was going to uh, to uh, to uh, Washington. So I get on the bus and fall asleep like a rock. Wake up in Atlanta, Georgia, and I'm like, "Yo, it's I'm the so- wrong direction." Yes, and I'm like, "Fuck, man!" Like, I I, I was just like. I just told my boy uh, uh, Snake, who was who was uh, traveling with me at the time, because I I had befriended him. I was like, Snake, you come with me. Let's go get this bread. So he's with me, and I was like, Dude, just don't get off the bus. If we just act like we're asleep, just don't get off the bus. So we did, and we waited all the way up to Chicago, where they made us get off the bus. And I so talked just, to the I talked to the manager. I said, "We got on the wrong bus." He said, "In Alabama, how the fuck did you figure out you was going the wrong way by the time you made it to Chicago?" <laughs> I was like, "I don't know," but you know, I, I fucking hustled him. This dude was so cool. He gave me and Snake tickets to get all the way to fucking Seattle, but we went across the north. So, in short, we were on that bus for five days. I was about to say you saw the whole country. By the time we got to Chicago, broke. Zero money, but we got so like, real if comfortable. Did, if, if that dude didn't give you a break on them tickets, you guys have been fucked. Not me, fool. I'm a. I, I would have figured, figured it out. <laughs> Absolutely, yeah. I was going to Seattle. Yeah, we gonna figure it out. I promise you, it's I was getting there. Sorry, car, so. some, I'm going there. Uh, so you know, I had that determination. So we're broke, right? No, no, no money. So we leave Chicago. Absolutely no money. Now Greyhound makes a stop at gas stations. Yeah. For for the for the patrons or the nice little shoplifting. What do you call them? Oh, listen, passengers. Yeah. The first time it was a little sketchy. You're like burrito. You know what I'm saying? Like you're yeah. fucking like you you know you kind of racking up yeah. a little bit. You get on the bus and kind of munching down. Second time you're like burrito. Fucking so, yeah. Third time you're like fuck this. Give shit. me a two liter. Like, Give me a hat. Some fucking jewelry. But by the time, dude, by that time we got to fucking Seattle, man. Like it, it, it got so stupid easy. Um, so Just we ate shit, all the way there. But when I landed in Seattle, New Year's night, two thousand, snowing. Oh. Greyhound closes. Nowhere to go on the streets, like sleeping under a church steeple. And my homeboy Snake was like, "Fucking Y two K." My homeboy Snake said, "Hey man." I got, I got my grandma to give me a ticket home. I said, what? This fool left me. Left me by after myself. After one day? He, five days. It was a no, five-day trip. But after being in Seattle? We less, he- less than 24 hours. He was headed back home to Alabama. Wow. He's like, I can't do this. I was like, Psh, bet. I'm staying. So I fucking like stayed by myself on the streets for a while. and like Homeless life? Oh, yeah. Where would you sleep? Anywhere I could. Like, or not sleep at all. Yeah. Sometimes. I feel like Seattle right now is, it would be a good place to be homeless. 
right now. I don't know about Why? then. It's, dude, it's terrible. It's terrible. It's the worst weather. It's the worst. It's the well, no, worst place to be homeless. It, I heard like, it's lit out there. Though. Like they got like lit. The, they got the fucking the little area that there's like that's no, what they call it these days. That's what the kids are calling fucking no, 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 dreary, they, 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 sad, fucking <laughs> terrible. Where are you gonna get your next? Ne- no, no. I, they got an area. There's like no laws. It's like a, it's it's supposed to be kind of like it's like Amsterdam from The Wire. Did you say Amsterdam? You ever watch The Wire? No, I never got into it. Okay, great show. Not to disappoint anyone. I've, I've never. I, I know people love The Wire. <laughs> people fucking love it's fucking. Like, we get it. We get I it. Know, Don't tell I me. Know. I know. I've heard. I didn't watch The Wire. I didn't watch a fucking. Um, Did you watch Breaking Bad? I, I, no. Really? A little bit of it. Great I get bored. Show. I get bored. I get fucking. Did you watch Yellowstone? What? No. Really? Get bored. I gotta go. Work. What show was? Uh, in, uh, I've never watched a season of anything ever. Until it's gone was on what show? Sons of Anarchy. The- that's it. Yeah, great show. I'm never. He's seen like, it. I saw the episode. Never seen it. <laughs> you didn't see the episode your song played in. Not a single episode of Sons of Anarchy have I ever seen. It's a good show. I'm sure it is. Well, hey, so, I'm a so you end up going being homeless in Seattle to being on a boat. Um. So um. So I'm on the streets, and then I start doing like day to days. You know what I mean? Like. I had that hustle from Gadsden. Like, you could go up, like, you could pull up at four in the morning to, like, a work for hire mm. spot. It's called work for hire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they'll give you something to do for the day. Whatever it is. Yeah. You know, and you get a check at the end of the day. You go cash it, check, check cash and spot. I, I had that hustle in my back pocket. So I knew I could do that. So I started doing that to pay for my, well, at first it was a, a hostel, you know. Shared bathroom. Finally, My publicist is promoting right now. This is what he does. It's leaking songs. That's what he does. <laughs> Fucking DJing over there. <laughs> so you're doing the, the, the work. So, no, no, no. So I'm doing, day, uh, you know, day to day to 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 first play, pay for a hostel, be friend of some other kids. My my homeboy Lafayette, rest in peace, who came out and um, he was out there randomly too, based on the same like dream of that you know I, I, I found him randomly so we just um collected our bread from these day-to-day jobs and like would get like a room two beds but there'd be like seven of us in like a little motel or whatever and then after work every day was the hustle was go to the docks knock on doors you know like go knock on a boat so i did that up until the point where oh god should i incriminate myself right now i mean it's Past the statute of limitations. Is it? Sure. Yeah, for sure. What was that, 20 years ago? 25 years ago. It's a 10-year thing. I mean, okay. unless you di- murdered somebody. No. I, <laughs> He's like, I killed like, somebody. No, no, I didn't. No. I stole her boat. No, 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 not for real. But uh, Okay, so this is interesting. Uh, so I, m- one of my hustles as a kid was like, if I was hungry, I would like, you know, I would call the pizza man or whatever and then they would pull up, and then it was just curtains. Like, I would just take everything, you know, the food and everything. You know, and, I, and I would just say, like, you know, like whatever. Like, I used to mask up when I was really young. Give me, give, give me <laughs> Dude, the tips. I like, give me the fucking tips. No, I, I've never hurt a person in my life, but like... To I said st- extra cheese, motherfucker. I, I think stealing food is honorable. It is honorable. Sometimes okay. you got to steal food, like Aladdin in the Disney movie. He stole food. So everybody's hungry in yes. my hotel room. I still steal gum every once in a while just to see if I still got it. I don't steal nothing anymore. Every blue moon, started, if I'm in a liquor store, well, not a liquor store, it's a big chain gas station, and the line's crazy, and I got one pack of gun. I just, I just might throw it in my pack. My well, yo, I'm out in Seattle, yeah. okay? So like the whole fucking crew's hungry. Yeah, like all seven people that are staying in this little room is hungry, and I'm like, I got it. Don't worry, you know. And so I called. I called the pizza dude. He pulls up, and I'm like, "Man, this is like bold as fuck." I'm so over it. I'm like, "Just give me the pizza, man." Like, just you know what I mean. I lied to him. I said, "There's people in the bushes over here and there," and he's like, "Trust me, you don't want it," you know. So I like seven pizzas and shit. Walked in there. It was life of the party. Yeah. So the next day. Next day, my dumb ass, I walk outside in the same clothes. Now, that pizza man obviously went back and called the cops, you know, sure. right? So, cop rolls by. Like, it's, in Seattle, they have these, like, crazy, like, 
interstates that are they have these big dividers. Yeah. But it, it's weird because the, there's no. It's like a pull off into a gas station. Right. There's no like exit. It's right, like. Right, right. Yeah. So, but they're like one ways. You know what I mean? One way this way, one that like three lanes this way, three lanes this way, split uh, split by dividers. This cop rolls by, and there's two people in his car, and he's like, and fucking spotlights me as he's rolling by, and I'm like, this was like two in the afternoon. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, I knew exactly, and I was in trouble. So I fucking run. He, he goes up, and I see him making a right turn, but I know that he has no chance to get across to the divider. Right, the right, divider right. is too far. Did you play Frogger? Yes, I played Frogger. Nice. Real life Frogger. Nice. And I won. Good I job. won it. Nice. It was not easy. Almost splat. Almost splat. <laughs> Fuck <laughs> that. Quark, quark, quark. Uh, so, so I, brought, I run across the media, jumped the media, and like, went to a, um, like a bus stop. Took off my hat. I had like a beanie on. Took off my hat. My hair, I had long hair like it was past my waist. Took off my hat. My hair fell down past my waist. Took off my jacket. Threw it in the bushes. And I just sat there at the, at, at, I just sat there at the bus stop. And that cop rolled right past didn't, me. Didn't put two didn't, and two together. Didn't recognize me because I had long ass hair and I wasn't wearing the same ass jacket. And That's sick. All that shit. So anyway, I took, so the, lo- the long of the short is I got on a Greyhound bus that day and went to the docks. And uh, got hired immediately. As a matter of fact, they were like, do you got anybody else? I was like, we yeah, need I got people. a whole room of people. They got seven guys. They're like, bring them. Did you guys make 20 grand? No. It was, it was a piece of shit. It was a piece of shit. The boat that we got on was left by a Russian, uh, a, Ru- a, a group of Russian fishermen that lost all their money and they left it in Seattle. It got bought by this. It was a junk boat. We built the motherfucker on the way out. Oh. Like imagine me with a welder. Did like, you have a mask on? No. <laughs> building this shit like, here, here, get this welder and weld that shit. Like fucking like out there like 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 making the factory on the way to sea. While, while it's going to sea. Like dumping tons of rotten fish out of the bow into What's the that's, ocean. That's got to be just. And trash. Captain did that, by the way. That's Not his you. motherfucking ass. Yeah. Nah, he made us. We fucking. So what kind of were you guys? Just any type of fish? Was it like fucking nah, codfish mostly, and then like we, some halibut, a lot of illegal shit too, because he was a piece of shit. What's illegal? He was though, like in the ocean. You can't fish Did out you... of season. Like so, if you like, you can't go out there and like you're dragging a net across the Bering Sea. So are you gonna get everything? Did you guys get any, like any dolphins? Oh, dude, like dolphins, fucking octopus. Like oh, fucking octopus eel, are eels. Oh, the eels are fucked up, bro. Dude, I, the halibuts are fucked up. That there was a halibut that got on the boat, and the, and you know we're we're fucking young fools, so we're like wrestling this halibut. We're like fucking having challenge, and this fucking this motherfucker jumped on the back of this halibut and broke it broke his arm, oh, broke his arm. It pinned him against one of the fucking cleaning things, and like he had to get helicoptered off. Yo, and shit. speaking of fishing, I that whole that whole thing is is. You know what I want to do. And you you have to tell us where to do it at. So me and uh, that Mexican OT, we went boar hunting in Texas out of a fucking helicopter with machine guns. It was pretty gnarly. The next thing we want to do, and Richie, it's... Can we get some liquor? It's inspired... Liquor, liquor liquor makes her quicker. It's inspired by what I saw you doing with... Uh, was his name Rambo? Your, your boy... Cambo. Had, Cambo. The guy Come with the on fucking, now. The guy with the pet fucking possum. But you guys were noodling. Oh, dude, you don't want no parts of that. It's not fun because we're thinking no, like we're like, fun. yo, we got to do it's another terrifying. YouTube video where we go where we go fishing or something. And I was like, dude, I saw, I remember Yellow Wolf used to noodle, and he would fucking get on his fucking knees, and you'd grab the catfish out of the mud. You know what I realized, man, about myself is that you know a lot of that shit is just like, yeah, I'll do it because I don't give a fuck. <laughs> yeah. The other part is I'm too bougie for that shit. I don't want to fucking do that shit. I, yeah, like, dude, like, dude, I'll do like one thing, you know, and like, I'm like, man, motherfucker, I'll buy my taxidermy. I ain't gonna go sit in the woods in the fucking in the cold and in the, and like, you know, there's a there's this whole thing in country and in, in the south in particular. They always want to tap in on our country. Or, oh, you ain't country. Yeah, yeah what did you, you don't do? do this? How you many don't cousins do this? You don't fucked? do that. Like, yeah. motherfucker, like, psh, don't 
I'm fucking don't test me, motherfucker. I'll get out there and fucking get buck with you. Yeah. Trust, trust me. But I don't like it. I'm cool. Well, you've also I, gotten to the point in life where, you know, you're like, hey, I've I didn't done make, it. Thank you. I didn't make noodling a habit. Look, okay, imagine this, all right? And to some people, this is okay. For people who don't For, know, noodling is catching catfish by I'm hand. I'm going to describe yeah. it, okay? Noodling is when you, let's just say, I don't know if, if anyone who's watching has ever seen like a boat dock. It's like a, met, it's like a concrete boat dock that goes into a river or a lake, Yeah. right? You've seen them. They, 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 that's how they get their boats into the water. You back your truck yeah. in or whatever, all right? So they're all over the rivers and shit. So up underneath that, this is just one place to noodle. There's a lot of places to noodles. But where I was taken was a boat dock or a, a boat ramp, boat ramp, boat ramp. My bad. So up under that boat ramp, there's a gap. You know what I'm saying? Where like the water and the mud and the, and the tide and the fucking current has, has built a gap. And catfish like to go and bed down in places they can hide. Right. And if anything comes in that particular space, they eat it. You know, like they just like, it's like, it's like, you imagine going into a cave and you're like, oh, shit, and you just ate up, you know, like that's how they do it, you know, but, but so you use your hand as, as a bait. Okay. It's just, your hand is just interference to its space. It's not hungry for your hand. It's just like, get the fuck out of, what the fuck, are, what, what is this? Because the thing is, is it bites okay. your hand and you pull it out, right? Okay. So, Cambo is like, fucking, put your fucking hand in there and fucking pull him out. He, he's, he'll go underwater and he comes back and he's like, I got one. There's one in there. And I'm like, dog. For real, he's like, no, there's one in there. It's big too. Like, you get out in there, and I'm like, fuck. I'm already committed. There's cameras rolling and shit. I'm like, fuck, fuck. So I go up under the water and stick my hand down in that hole, and I feel this slimy bastard's fucking. I'm like, ah. I come back up. I can't do it. I can't do it. I can't do it. It's crazy. He's like, no, nah, just fucking do it. I fucking did it, man. I fucking got down in there, let him. The sensation of an animal biting you, biting you on the hand, <laughs> is not a good thing. <laughs> Dog, <laughs> fuck, take me to the camper. Give me my fucking Saint Laurent's. I'm fucking out of here, bro. Yeah, let me, me know my, when it's me, when it's cooked. Give me, give me my cowboy boots. Bring me a plate when it's cooked. Nice clean truck. I ain't trying to take my shit mud box. Get the fuck out of here. I just that was a real moment for me. I, I've did a lot with Cambo though. Anything it, Cambo would do, I would do. Such a sick follow on IG. Walk. walk Walk a swamp with him. Do anything he wanted to do. Because I'm about it. I'm about it. If I ain't going to fucking like... I ain't Didn't you try to get him a TV show? Or wasn't there a TV show being worked on? Or I something? gave him a TV show. I got him $2 million, bro. Crazy. I got him $2 million. $2 million budget. Under, on, yeah. We, we did it. it. It's a thing. He was making like five bands a show. He spent it all on guns and truck parts. Went broke. Love you, Cambo. Truth. Truth dart. Truth. What? A truth dart? Truth dart, we call him. Hit you oh, with the truth man. dart real nah, quick. Nah, he knows it. He, he don't give a fuck. I love him. He, he, he knows what he did. I was going to ask you. Um, he built like a shack on the river with fucking like old cabin wood and built the fire. Dude, these fools were like, he was so crazy, man. This fool was like, he was like, oh man, watch this. And fucking like, he would let people like shoot guns off his head with like a 22. Like, oh, I just no, remember no. following shoot, him and I'd be shoot, uneasy with some of the shit he was like. Like, shoot beer cans off of each other's heads with like 22s and shit. No, that's I mean, just. The boys fucked. about it. About it. You know what I'm saying? Like, been here, been trill. 